Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another morning word. For those that are new to this, this is where I share a couple minute video really to share from my own personal Bible study. Why? Because I wanted to see your life go from here to here. I wanted to see your life go to the next level because God's done it in me, my life. And I wanted to show you all the things that God's doing in my life so he could do it in your life. Because God left us his promise. He says, I come to give you life and life more abundantly. And not only did he give us that great promise, he showed us how we can enter into that promise or one of the ways that we can enter into that promise. And one of the things that he says is that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. What does that mean? Well, you if you can change your way of thinking and think more like God, there's no valley that you can't come through, my friends. And there is no mountaintop that you can't reach because there is nothing that is impossible for God. And if we can start to think like God, there is nothing that is impossible for you. Now, I've got to say this. I'm not a pastor, not an evangelist. I don't teach. I'm not a teacher or anything like that. I don't work for the church. as someone who fell in love with Jesus and truly wanted to see your life go to the next level. So whatever I'm saying, study out for yourself. If it makes sense, then run with the action that we, we say at the end of this video, uh, the action of the day, and watch the fruits of God's wisdom in your life. Now, let's get into this. Today's scripture inspiration uh, comes from the book of 1 Samuel, um, chapter 19, verse 4, and it reads this. Jonathan spoke well of David to Saul, his father, and said to him, Let not the king do wrong to his servant. David, he has not wronged you, and what he has done has benefited benefited you greatly i'm going to call this morning's word stand up for in the innocent stand up for the innocent now king saul out of jealousy hated understand king saul at this time hated one of his commanders david he was jealous of his success he was jealous of his fame and all the plaudits actually hated to the point he was so jealous that he wanted to have him murdered and if you watched the video yesterday we talked about the same thing now, Jonathan, who was obviously best friends of David and also the son of King Saul, um, and if you listen to the video yesterday, actually told David of the plot to murder him. So, you know, he told David that so David could be safe. Now, Jonathan could have stopped there and said, well, I've told him, so that's it. But Jonathan went one step further and really put his neck on the line. He actually stood up for the innocent David who couldn't speak on his own behalf and spoke on behalf of the innocent David and said, no, yo, king, dad, what's he done to you? This guy is a good man. This guy served you faithfully. This guy's killed giants for you. He's played the heart for you and things like that. Now, going up to the king of Israel, that could have got him murdered. But he said, you know what? I don't care what the consequence is. And we talked about that yesterday. What would you, would you always do the right thing? But here he was like, I'm going to stand up for the innocent. I'm going to stand up for the innocent. And I just think that's an amazing thing. So what can we learn from, um, from this? There's a lot of people that will know in around the world who don't have a voice. A lot of us in the Western world have, you know, have a voice. So um, some people who are in the sex slave industry may not have a voice, but we can stand up for it. We can write petitions, we can send money, and we can support charities. There's some people in the slave industry. Yes, the slave industry in 2018, can you believe that? Who don't have a voice, but we can have a voice. We can you know, lobby parliament. There's so many things we can do. There's poor people around the world. We can make a difference. We can stand up for the innocent. But the question is, will you do something for the innocent? Will you stand up and speak for those who don't have a voice, who don't have access to social media, who don't have access to finances? Will you stand up for them? And that's really the question of the morning. Will you stand up for the innocent? Here's the lesson of the day. If you have the power to defend an innocent person and you don't do it, you're just as bad as the person who is hurting, persecuting that innocent person. If you have the power okay, to make a difference and turn the blind eye, you're just as guilty, my friends. You're just as guilty. So you're not guilty, you're, you are guilty by association. You know you could have made a difference and you didn't do it. So that really leads me to the action of the day. If you have the power to help someone, someone who doesn't have the voice, someone who doesn't have the power, someone who doesn't have your resources and you don't do nothing about it, okay, you're just as guilty as the person who's bringing the pain on those innocent people. I'm serious is a serious one. You cannot turn a blind eye to the things that were happening in our world and put your head, bury your head in the sand. You've got to stand up and do something. That's how we'll make this world a better place. So thank you for watching today. As we always say with Gen Hope, God's gift to us is life. What we do with that life is our gift back to God. You know, please subscribe to Gen TV where you get these videos Monday to Friday, but we get a wealth of videos as well about motivation, fitness, investing, mindset, the whole work. So get your life from here to here. I also ask you to do this. Share this video with one person. That's all I ask. Share this video with one person. 
And if you can't share the video, just share the principle. That's actually more powerful. Share the principle with them. The reason being, if we can change the mindset of one person saying, you know what, I'm gonna stand up for the innocent. If everybody did that, who has power to make a difference, we would change the, a community, my friends. And if we could change a community, we will go on to change the world. I truly believe that. So God bless you. Um, and obviously hit us up. And I will see you soon for another morning word. Thank you. Bye-bye.